Hi everyone, my name is Yusra and I'm a ServiceNow developer at ASP. Today I will make a small video to show you how we can sync Intune devices into ServiceNow CMDB using a special tool provided by ServiceNow named Integration Hub Import. So before uh, starting the, the, the small demo, I will first explain what is Intune and why it's, it's interesting to integrate it with ServiceNow. Intune is a platform developed by Microsoft to manage mobile devices and applications in a secure environment. And today we can notice that companies have to manage a growing number of devices that can lead to outdated and inefficient inventory data. ServiceNow helps by syncing data from Intune to its CMDB, ensuring accurate and up-to-date information. So um, the four uh, key feature um, ServiceNow provide for Intune are first, um, companies can centralize the management of mobile devices, applications, and IT services within a single platform. Uh, um, also, by uh, using ServiceNow as an IT management platform, Companies can automate workflow related to device and uh, application management. For, a, for example, um, application deployment requests uh, can be handled through automated process. Um, also, combining Intune and ServiceNow allows companies to bolster their security posture by applying compliance um, uh, policies to devices and applications, but also monitoring security in incident, etc. And last but not least, uh, ServiceNow provides um, end users with a seamless and consistent user experience. So basically, end users can access IT services, deploy application, and request technical assistance through a unified interface. So that's it for the quick uh, explanation. And now I will um, start the, the small demo. So here uh, we are in a demo instance. And we are going to discover this tool integration hub import. So um, this tool will provide to us an easy way to get in tune data. Here it will be devices into our ServiceNow CMDB table. So how we are going to use it and how it works, this is what we are going to uh, discover right now. So first step is to create a new integration. We are going to give it a name. So Intune Data uh, Demo. And I'm going to use the same for the short description and save. Here we have, we can see that we have three steps to uh, set up. The first is the source configuration. Then we will have to map, to map, sorry, uh, to the target table and then schedule the imports. So first we are going to configure the source, and here we are going to use the Microsoft Intune spoke. So I'm going to click and select Microsoft Intune spoke. And here we have uh, three data stream, uh, lookup manage application, lookup manage devices, and I'm gonna choose lookup manage devices. If I want to get applications from Intune, I can select the first one. So I'm selecting this one and we can see directly, we will have a preview of the selected source data with all the information we are going to get for the devices from Intune. Once that is done, we can go to the second step, map to target. And here we are going to uh, map to the target table from ServiceNow. We are going to add a table and choose our table. 
that is cmdb c computers this one and save so here we selected the target table but still we have to map um, the, the the fields so we will click again on there and then we see here in the source from intune we have all those fields and then here it's still empty no data mapping yet integration hub import provide a small tool that um, is very easy to use that is automap and when we, we will click here it will take all the fields from the service now table and already map them with the source so we are going to try it now and here we are so here we can see our source field and here our um, table fields and we can start mapping we can see that here there is already some fields that are already mapped um, we can check them see if it's right change if it's not uh, for this one i, I will not uh, do it i will simply here for name as you can see it it mapped it with username but i don't want username i will use name because they provide also a field with name and you will click here in the data pill click here and select from our source field i will select name and voila our two fields are now mapped and that's it we can save its processing and then we will be able to go to step three to schedule the import so I'm, I'm going to click here and as you can see we can click and schedule the import either daily we can set an hour a minute um, monthly periodically once but for the sake of this demo i will simply run the import and we can see that run import job is submitted successfully so um, i will just refresh to get the execution and we will be able to see the execution here i will click and we can see that um, it ran successfully we have 35 rows that were imported from intune to service now and um, you can see here uh, updated on 3 june um, at 307 it's important because with this um, information we can see if we correctly uh, got the, the the data into the table so now i'm going to verify if we got the data so i'm going to open the table cmdbc computer dot list and we'll have the service now table here and we can see that we have our devices here and you can see the 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 the, the date 3 june at 307 so the data were correctly imported and that's it that easy <laughs> Thank you for watching and looking forward to uh, make other video. Thank you.